Oh, there you are, YouTube. All right, so they just got into their advent calendars, and what did you find? What is there? A stocking? There we go. Now we can see them. Two stockings. Yep. You can go ahead. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, December 11th. What are we watching today? A Christmas Story Christmas. Uh, oh. oh, that's the sequel to A Christmas Story. Yeah. All right. First time watch. But before we watch that, we've got something else planned. Hey girls, what are we doing today? Going to the movie theater. Yeah, this is gonna be your first time at a movie theater. Do you even know what we're watching? The Grinch. Yeah, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the original 1966 version. Yeah. Look, oh, the Grinch is here. What? He's right there. Holiday in Whoville. There's Roger Ebert. Giving us the thumbs up. Here, go go sit by him. Hey, give a thumbs up. Good job. <laughs> Way to go. Legendary film critic, Roger Ebert. Hi, Grinch. Hey girls, you want to wave? Say hi. Look at the fancy light up there. Look all the way to the ceiling. See that light? Yeah. the trolley I did you like it yeah did you like it nice good <laughs> the bad part was not my favorite oh the bad parts weren't your favorite no. oh i That's see the good part. you like the good parts <laughs> yeah because i like when she she brings back all of the toys i think the movie was a success they had a good time now I'm grabbing their coats because we're gonna go on a trolley ride now. They also offer that. So I think that'll be a lot of fun for them. But yeah, gonna go grab those coats. Hey, trolley line, everybody's here, trolley line, not Santa line, right? Yeah. Okay, maybe Charlie. <laughs> not in the wrong line. <laughs> then you don't need to look at them. We're in line for the trolley. <laughs> All right. He looked great. Say Merry Christmas. All right. Thank you. It tastes like No, you're right. It was very watery. What did it taste like? Ready? Let's go. Hey girls, look at me. Wave to the camera. Say Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. What are we riding? Yeah. <laughs> is this fun? <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah. You're just like Daniel Tiger. There's going to be a horse. A horse? There's going to be a horse. Watch. Keep watching. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Did 
Did you see that? <laughs> we'll have to do that sometime. Yeah, that'll be nice. <laughs> hey, Nona. Look at the camera. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hey, no, 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 you gotta keep sitting. Merry Christmas! Look, the Grinch is here to greet us. Hi, Grinch! Hi, Grinch! Hi, Grinch! Good. Good. Oh. Oh. That's okay, she got one. <laughs> Good job, girls. You met the Grinch. That was such a great time. That ride was so fun. The movie was great. That was just like, if it didn't feel like Christmas, it does now. Plus it's nice and cold too. We've kind of had warmer days, but this, at the Virginia Theater, watching how the Grinch stole Christmas and riding in a Christmas trolley, it was perfect. Did you have so much fun going to a movie theater and riding a trolley <laughs> and meeting the Grinch? Yeah? We're back home, the kids are in bed, and now we're gonna watch A Christmas Story Christmas. The sequel to A Christmas Story. So that actually brought a tear to my eye. Like a, a tear left my eye, went down my cheek. I thought that was really good. A lot of great callbacks to the original and it never felt too corny for some reason. I don't know why, because a lot of times I don't like callbacks, but this just really captured the style of the original film as well. Um, there were some like visual differences and I'm sure that's just, you know, the camera equipment they're working on because you know how like the original Christmas story has sort of like a foggy look to it. We weren't really given that in this one. Uh, but really, I mean, that that's not a complaint. It's just, you know, something I noticed. The characters, so many cast members returned to this film the the mother though was recast and i looked it up the the original mother's still alive but maybe not acting anymore or not to this extent um so you know i, I guess there's a little difference there um in the way the character is approached but otherwise like i don't know i i thought it was very heartfelt um it didn't feel cheap or anything it felt it felt like it belonged, like it was a sequel that that it, it's okay that it exists. There's no problem here. I don't know if it's a movie that you will make a Christmas classic, something that you watch over and over again, because you kind of have to watch them both, I guess. I don't know. Like, I guess if you're going to watch one of them, you're always going to watch the original. This is just a nice one to have to watch, to see what's going on with Ralphie and his friends and his family and all of that. And it doesn't really need rewatches after, even though it is very heartfelt and good and true to uh, the type of movie that the original one was, in, in my opinion anyway. Um, yeah, I... I I thought it was it was worthy it was a worthy sequel but you know like with let's say Home Alone and Home Alone 2 I feel like both of those movies are Christmas classics that sort of exist and are ubiquitous and always there and that's probably because they were made um, so close to one another where here the distance obviously creates some major differences between this one and uh, the original one just because of the style of filmmaking and stuff like that but they kept it as true as they could to the original one when Ralphie's having his 
um, like daydreams, like all of that is like matching up very well to what we see in the original movie. Um, it, it just felt authentic and belonging. And I thought that was great. And so much of it is about like, I don't know, fatherhood and passing down things to your kids that your dad taught you and how you want to be seen by your kids when you're gone, um, how you see your own parent after they're gone, uh, like all of that. Like it's just, I thought it was very heartwarming and at the end I did have a tear going down my face and I just, I thought it was really good. I liked it. Um, yeah, it was, it was a quality movie and emotional, heartfelt, all of that. I recommend it. I don't necessarily think people will be watching this every single Christmas like they do A Christmas Story, but maybe on occasion they'll pop it in and it's definitely, definitely worth a one-time watch just to see where these characters are at. I don't think it ruins anything. Not at all. And give it a shot. Give it a shot. Anyway, have you seen it? Have you seen A Christmas Story Christmas? If so, what did you think about it? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. It was a really fun day. It was so cool. Taking the kids to see their very first movie in the movie theater. I mean, it was only 20 minutes long, you know. It's the 66 uh, Grinch story. But it, it was just so cool to see them in a movie theater. In a movie theater that we love so much. We are, well, used to be regular attenders of Ebert Fest, which is Roger Ebert's Film Festival, which is held there at the Virginia Theater. And it brought back so many memories, and it was just so fun to take the kids to their, for a theater experience, to take them to that movie palace. It's just such a beautiful, historic place. It's like over 100 years old. Um, and, you know, I think their next movies will probably be in the multiplex, which not as special or anything like that. But I'm glad that their first movie experience, uh, or at least theater experience, I don't know if you want to call it a movie experience, um, but, you know, someday we'll take them to, to see a, a feature length film, but this theater experience was very cool. And I, I don't know, it was, it was great. Like I just had so much fun doing that. And then, uh, you know, we waited in line to do the trolley afterwards. They, they met the Grinch. They had hot chocolate too, as we were waiting uh, outside to get onto the trolley and it was so great. The girls loved being on that trolley so much, like seeing how happy they were just made me so happy. It was such an awesome time. It really did like turn on the Christmas season. Like, you know, we've been watching these Christmas movies, we've decorated, but this is what really made it feel like it is Christmas now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.